This young man hails from Dallas, Texas, has been known as Mr. Sam Foster. He's been eight or nine years. Um, uh, met him. Oh my God. He just stuck in there, just stuck in there. And now he's about, he's blowing up. He's, 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 he's blowing up like the atomic bomb. I mean, he's just, he's just mushroom. He just blew up. And out of that, he is perfecting his trade and he just, it got in him. And I hope it gets into you. He did a wonderful job last Friday. Without further ado, from Dallas, Texas, uh, on the way to RD, this man is out there getting 15 leads every single day. He's at the mall every single day. He gets up four o'clock in the morning every single day. He doesn't even sleep in his bed. He sleeps on the floor because he said, Mr. Tom, if you get uncomfortable, I can get uncomfortable. And so many of us are still comfortable. You got to get uncomfortable. Get where you want to go, Mr. Corey C. <laughs> Without further ado, from Dallas, Texas, the one and only, Mr. Sam Foster. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Are you at home? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then take that thing off. Take that thing off so we can see you. Exactly. That's 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 part that's part of what I'm getting ready to do. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm at, I'm I'm asking permission from you because I know it's all a situation that you can I have permission to take my mask off? Yes, sir. You have the permission, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate uh, everyone uh, being here today. Um, I know you could have been anywhere, especially when you, you didn't hear a natural individual that usually comes on to be on here. So I really appreciate you taking your time out to come out and um, hear what I have to say. I have to definitely give it back to Mr. Al Thomas, uh, Jabri Clemens, um, uh, Tasha Ishmael, all these other uh, great leaders, because um, I, I promise you, I wouldn't be nothing without those individual people and many, many more. I know I got RDs on here, RVP Platinum and everything like that. So without further ado, I want to get into my information because I got a, I think I got a lot to give out and I want to make sure I do it some sort of justice. OK, if you're taking notes, anybody, if you're taking notes, ladies and gentlemen, write this down. I got some. Three words. I got some. And the reason why I say write down I got something is because as I was meditating, as I was praying on what I wanted to say. I think Mr. Jabri Clemens hit the nail on the head when he said, I had some more stuff to get out. And I was hesitant to, to, to really say anything because I know Mr. Thomas said he was gonna play the video from last week and I would have been fine with that. But I, I, I now that I think about it, I did have a little more to get out. And <laughs> it hit me, I got something. And the reason why I say I got something is because I was praying about it and God told me uh, to do a reset and to go back to the future. I know some of you ladies and gentlemen that are on this call hadn't been in ACN long, but for those individuals who have been in ACN for at least the last two to three years, ACN shifted a little bit and they literally went back to the future. And when I had that in my brain to say, go back to the future, it instantly hit me and I said, I got something. And I know I was talking to you guys on last week and I, would talk, I was talking about my method of operation, how I get up like Mr. Thomas and things of that nature. And it just hit me. Let me break this thing down just a little bit more when I say I got something. All right. First of all, we're going to illuminate a little bit. And I know I'm going to put him on the spot a little bit, but we're going to illuminate on Mr. Thomas just a little bit because we kind of take him for granted. And I'm one of them. We take him for granted. We don't. We don't try to do it, but we do it because we don't realize the person that we have in our midst, ladies and gentlemen. We have an individual in our midst, and this is this is me talking from firsthand experience. This is me not talking from thirdhand experience. When I first got started in ACN, when ACN first came to the Dallas area, it was eight. It was Mr. Thomas and Mr. Danny Bay. When we were first trying to get everything together. We used to meet at the Four Seasons Hotel in Irving, Texas. And I would never forget when 
We had a crowd of people at the hotel. You guys just imagine a crowd of people at the hotel. I, uh, other IBOs, potentials, crowd of people. And I'm sitting there, me and maybe two or three other people. I'm not nobody. Don't nobody know me. All these other people are in the room or in the building. And everybody walking around asking, well, who's your SVP? Who's your upline SVP? And I told a guy that was behind me, I said, uh, Al Thomas. So the guy looked at me like, yeah, right. I said, uh, Al Thomas. So he couldn't believe I said Al Thomas because he looked at me like uh, he had smelled a dead body or something. So I'm looking at him like uh, Al Thomas. It just so happened, ladies and gentlemen, Al Thomas was coming to the event, okay? Now, Al Thomas was running a little bit late because the event had started yet, so we was grouping together. When Al Thomas finally comes to the event, he comes in and, and as usual, ladies and gentlemen, if you've ever seen Al Thomas at any kind of event, he is standing room only. He has people waiting on him and he signed books and all this kind of stuff. So it's hard to get, get to him. And as Mr. Thomas comes up, he notices me and a few other people that was in his organization. Well, he said, um, you guys ready to go in? So the guys that were behind me that looked at me like I had lost my mind when I said Al Thomas, I said, yes, sir. And we went on in. So the guy looked at me like he really knows Al Thomas. That was the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, of me recognizing who I had in my midst as a senior vice president. I'm just giving you guys a just a snippet of the individual that this man really is. He rarely takes credit for anything. He he really kind of gets embarrassed when you kind of put him on the spot and you know kind of raise his hands up a little bit. And, but that's all the signs of a humble servant leader. And I've learned to appreciate that over the years. And I'm only saying this because somebody needs to hear this going forward. You need to hear the people that we actually have in our midst. And this man, for the last past eight years, literally has not changed. He's the same way every single day. Give you an example. When we do these Wednesday night calls, even though I have a bunch of people for him to call, he treats me the same as somebody else that he doesn't even get financial benefit off of. I mean, the exact same. He's going to go through every name and number until everybody's finished a humble servant leader. And he does that week after week, after month, after month, after year. And if you call him, he does not, if he does not answer the phone, he will eventually call you back. And I've had trouble over the years trying to convince somebody that I have his personal number. That's how serious it is. Just to give you another example of who we have in our midst, ladies and gentlemen, I'll never forget this. We were actually in an in a international meeting and James Allen came in and uh, was one of our guest speakers in our breakout events that Mr. Thomas often does. He often do them in Charlotte, he's done them in Detroit. But at this particular time, Mr. Allen came in and everybody pretty much knows James Allen. And Mr. Allen, I heard this come out of his mouth. And he said that at this particular event, Mr. Thomas had at least 20% of the building was his people. Now, let me, let, me, let me magnify that for you. And this is not to put him on the spot, but this is just to let us know what kind of leader we have in our midst. You have to understand some, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Thomas doesn't do groups. He doesn't do the colors. He doesn't do the names, the things of that nature. He never has done that as long as I've been a part of his organization. And many people on this call are not directly tied to him, but we're all tied to him. And sometimes I know that kind of gets him in trouble with other people, but a servant leader has to be willing to get in trouble and get uncomfortable. 
So, so if you ever want to be a real servant leader, you're going to have to remind yourself of two things. I'm going to have to be able to get in trouble, and I'm going to have to able, be able to always be uncomfortable. Always. If you're not able to do that, you might as well come off this car because it's getting ready to get tight. It's getting ready to get tight. Because if you're not willing to get uncomfortable, you're not ready to be a leader. Plain and simple. There is no substitute. You have to be able to be uncomfortable in order to put yourself in a position where you can truly lead. Because if you're not willing to be uncomfortable, you can never lead anybody without being uncomfortable. Because you got too many variables going on, you got too many things going on at one time. And a real leader is a problem solver. Plain and simple, real leader is a problem solver. Now with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to break down who Mr. Thomas was and how he operates to let you guys know how he's been able to do what he's been able to do all these years. Now, he's not just a senior vice president. He's a senior vice president of other senior vice presidents. Tessa lets you guys know who you have in your mix. And in, in the nine years that I've known Mr. Thomas, I've been, in, I've been in circles where people didn't even know who I was or who my upbound was in different events. And as soon as you say Al Thomas's name, other senior vice presidents gives him his props. Other senior vice presidents. Just to let you know we got, who we got in our midst now, ladies and gentlemen. And that's why I follow behind him as close as I do, because the leadership is right. You know, you never have to question his integrity. You never have to question whether he wants the right thing for you or not. That's just the way it is. And that's the way it's always been with Mr. Thomas. And I want to say thank you, sir, for that. Now, going into who we have at the helm in terms of our founders, a lot of people may not realize this, but the same individuals that started this company are the same individuals who are at the helm of this company now, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at 28 years, 28 years, and we're the world's largest at what we do, and the same people at the helm of the company. Now, I'm saying this for a reason, because I don't want you guys to lose me now, because we got something. Watch this. The same people are at the helm of the company. We're going back to the future. When, when I first started, the entry fee was $499. $4.99. Now, in the last couple of years, they switched it. Now it's only $199. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to wrap your minds around this as an opportunity, as a company. That's unheard of, especially doing billions of dollars of sales. Now, we wasn't declining. We was always increasing. That lets you know who you got at the top. Now, watch this, ladies and gentlemen. In the last four to five years, we've done over $4 billion in revenue, so they didn't have to switch. And the, the truth be told, now I've been to school, ladies and gentlemen, even though my vernacular is not always right, I'm from Alabama, work with me. I've been to school, I got two master's degrees, I think I know what I'm talking about, I got two. Now when you do the math, when you do the math, when it comes to economics, the regular, Economic individuals tell you that's counterproductive. Who in an organization that's doing four and five billion dollars in the last five years, who switches it? That's called being counterproductive. When you're up, you stay up. You don't switch it, you don't go back, you go forward. Let me tell you why we have the right people at the helm of this company. They switch this thing, ladies and gentlemen. They switched the entry fee before this even got started. Come on now, somebody talk to me. They switched it before this even got started. That's unheard of, ladies and gentlemen. You don't switch it like that. You increase it. But let me tell you the character of your founders, the character of your health. The people at the helm have so much character in what they're doing. They got together and they said, we're going to scale back a little bit. 
wait a minute, why are you scaling back? We making money. Because they often used to tell us in all these conferences, we want to make it affordable for the average individual. Why? That's why they left corporate America. We wanted to fit the average individual. Mr. Thomas used to tell us all the time, we don't care if you're from jail or Yale. Now, whenever I'm lying, Mr. Thomas has the opportunity to mute me, Mr. Clement, because now we're going into fact checking. Nothing but the facts. We're going to fact check for a second. Wait a minute. So you mean to tell me, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the ACN opportunity. We've been up 28 years. We've done over four to five billion dollars in the last five years alone. And you mean to tell me we're going to go from 499 to 199 and we up in sales, which means we can drive revenue the way we want to. But the founders got together. The character is so intact with these founders that they say we're going back to the future. We're going to switch. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me we're going to switch it and revenue's up? We're going to switch it. Why? Because we want to get the heartbeat of the average individual. In other words, we want to have people to have less to talk about, less to talk about. So wait a minute. You mean to tell me that if I've been in ATN for eight years, I can go to the average person and say, no, no, my founders got integrity. Why did you say that? Because they never switched up on their firm foundation of when they started. Okay? Not only have they not switched up, but they started off when I got in at $499. Watch this. How much is it now? It's $199. So you mean to tell me your founders got that much integrity where they willing to say, we're going to take a loss in order for somebody else to go above us as a company, we're going to consider the average individual who may not have. That blows my mind. So you mean to tell me I can walk up to the average person and I can pick them like this here? Well, you know, a few years ago, it was $4.99. Well, how much is it now? $199. When I go to the mall, I use that as a picking tool. Why is that? Because I can go in the mall, go in any sneaker store, and see the average person pays $220 for one pair of sneakers. One pair of sneakers. So you mean to tell me I can tell the average person walking around that mall and they don't buy one pair of sneakers, ladies and gentlemen, they buy at least two. So they spend about $450 in one store. And our opportunity only costs $224. And we dropped it. Not only did we drop the interest fee to come in as an IBO, watch your founders, watch your founders, watch the character, watch this. But they also dropped the back office fee from 39, 40 bucks. Now it's 25. Work with me on fact checking. Not only did they drop that part, but the yearly fee went from $99 to $49. If I'm lying, Jabri Clemens, shut me off. I'm fact checking. In other words, these guys got together and dropped everything half right. Everything. Before the pen, before it happened. Before it happened. Why everybody else is scrambling around trying to save their organizations or they or they companies, ACN is already a year and a half above board on everybody. A year and a half above board. They didn't have to switch up. When things got tight, they didn't have to switch up. They had already switched. That's the kind of company we have, ladies and gentlemen. They already switched, which means they had already had the post beat of the world. Why you say that, Sam? I'm glad you asked, because we're the world's largest producer of essential services. 
which means a year and a half before all this started, they had already said, we dropping everything. Now, as a picking tool, you ought to be able to go to any individual. Give you an example. I walked into Walmart three days ago, and a couple said they had already been in ACN out of New York. They said, oh, we know what ACN is all about. I used to be in ACN back when it was $4.99. The guy said, what y'all doing? He said, I was back in, I used to be in it back in the day. The first thing I said to him, and I ticked him off, I said, uh, you should be a millionaire by now. He said, why you say that? I said, because when you, when you got in, it was $4.99. He said, how much is it now? I said, half on. I said, so what's your problem? I said, if you'd have, got, if you'd have stayed in it when it was $4.99, you probably would have tripled or quadrupled your return on investment by picking everybody saying, we cut the price in half. Now we got an opportunity to really get people in ACN that's supposed to be in ACN. Because now you don't have an excuse. The founders cut the price in half. Watch this. And we didn't compromise on product. We increased product and dropped the price. You don't do that, ladies and gentlemen. It's another, it doesn't make sense. Unless, unless, ladies and gentlemen, you doing what you say you're doing and you really own your country. Unless you doing what you say you're going to do and you really own your country. Why you say that? Glad you asked. On Flash Wireless, we used to didn't have get five, get free. Now, on Flash Wireless, you get five, you get free. Not only do you get five, you get free, you get free, and your customers get free. Where they do that at? They don't. Look at the compensation plan, ladies and gentlemen. Just look at the compensation plan. Where can you go at in America or in the world and look at a compensation plan that thorough, that good, that much of a payout, and whatever's on that paper is what they paying out. Documentation beat conversation. If you really want to pick a tool, give them the compensation plan on paper and walk away. Give it to them and walk away. Let them read it for themselves. Because I tick more people off in the last two months than I have in the last two years by saying to them, this is what the payout is. Take it or leave it. And whenever, whenever they come back to me, I don't care if it's Bitcoin. I don't care if it's uh, selling paper towels. Nobody has a comp plan like ACN nowhere on this planet right now. Nowhere on this planet. I literally sit there and I wait on people to pitch me they pitch about whatever they doing. And I know the hot thing now is Bitcoin. And all this 4X, I wait on the 4X people to talk to me because I know I can beat them because they get to tell me, well, you can put this in and put that in. I say, it's the stock market. I say, you might as well take your money, shuck it in your hand like peanuts and throw it out and roll the dice on it. And hope that you hit, a, that, that you hit snake eyes. But you don't have to do that with ACN. Why is that? Because documentation beats conversation. Give them the comp plan. Let them look at it and say, whatever's on that piece of paper, if you do this right here, we pay it out. Where can you go? Where can you go at in the world where you pay? This is the pitch. This is not the facts. This is the pitch. Where can you go at on this credit? Get an get in opportunity for $199, all right? You only paid $199. They say if you get three services, they're going to pay you $75. Watch this part. For two more services, they're going to pay you $200. Now, I didn't go to school every day, and I wasn't that good in math. But if they finna pay you $200 for 
for five services and not even your own five services. Just five people that go on your site and get your service. That's $200. You paid $199,000. You already got a return on your investment off of five services. Man, if you live in a tent, you got five services at your house alone. Watch this. If you do five services, you got the $200. You got your money back. You got a return on your investment within the first two hours of being in ACN. You can't beat that with a bat. Watch this. But it gets better because the comp plan says you can go all the way up to $600 and do that multiple times within the first month. They giving you 31 days, 30 days to get as much off the table as you want to get off this table. And you can do it as many times as you want. Wait a minute, man. You mean to tell me there is no limit? to the amount of money that I can make. And watch this, ladies and gentlemen. That's your first 30 days. All the money that you make your first 30 days, the next 30 days, it turns into residual based income. Nobody doing that. Nobody. Now, if somebody doing it, call me and let me know. I'm going over there. If somebody's doing that in a comp plan, call me and let me know. The reason why you're not going to call me is because I tried Bitcoin, they gave me their spill. All these other companies, they gave me their spill, ladies and gentlemen. They gave me the whole comp plan. And I wasn't looking for it, I was peeking them. But I let them peek me because I knew the comp plan wasn't any good. And all these other companies, the comp plan ain't no good. Why? Because a lot of the founders can't put a comp plan together like this because the infrastructure's not in place, ladies and gentlemen. You have a 28-year track record of infrastructure being in place. That's why they can go back to the future whenever they want to, because we did the right things with the money. When you do the right things with the money, ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to worry about a comp plan. The comp plan is second to none. You don't make that kind of money in ACN, and nowhere on the planet do you make that kind of money. Do you realize you duplicate that every month if you want to? Every single month. There should be no excuse when you first get an ACN why you don't get qualified. Because on that paper, if it's going to show you your first 30 days, you can get $600 plus dollars your first 30 days off of yourself. I'm flipping everything in my house. No problem. I'm going to flip everything in my house. Why? Because it's going to pay for itself, ladies and gentlemen. It's self-contained. The whole comp plan has been designed for it to be self-contained. And for the individuals that say, well, I don't, I'm not that good at getting a lot of customers. Well, ACN said, we're going to do you first. ACN said, we're going to pay you to do you. So why would you, why would you even have another service on another provider when you do your own stuff? That's like going to Burger King, but you wear a McDonald's outfit. You're an imposter. You're an imposter. You're wearing a mask. You're in a masquerade party, man. You got to come out of that. This is not Amway. This is the right way. I'm going to let you guys know the character of your founders. Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. They flip the money to favor you. It favors you. And they did it before all of this started. So that lets you know the character of your founder. All you have to do, ladies and gentlemen, is a simple phrase that we said when we was kids. Follow the leader. Follow the leader. That's it. That's all you have to do is follow the leader. Whatever you see Mr. Thomas do, you do it. It used to be a song that came out years ago. When I move, you move just like that. Just like that. That's it. You don't have to follow a whole lot of rules and regulations. Whatever the leader do, you do it. That's the blueprint. Now, watch this, ladies and gentlemen. I got three things to say. We are all leaders. We're all leaders on this call. We're all special. We're all victorious. 
and we're all prepared. Let me repeat that. We're all special, we're all victorious, and we're all prepared. Let me say it again. We're all special, we're all victorious, and we're all prepared. If you count me so far, those are the three ac acronyms for SVP. You're special, you're victorious, and you're prepared. Why? Because Mr. Thomas has prepared us to do anything. We're doing the one through tens now, ladies and gentlemen. We've been doing it for two weeks. Now we're doing it for sport. That means anybody that gets on these calls, not only will they be able to thoroughly do a one through 10, but nobody can tell us anything because we already have the best training. Mr. Thomas is the only senior vice president, ladies and gentlemen, the only senior vice president. And I've heard this from other senior vice presidents. And I know this for a fact. He's the only senior vice president that has done this at least the last 10 years to hold a leadership call six days a week. And that's a fact. And I've heard that from at least five other SVPs, other than knowing it for myself. He's the only SVP that does this. The only one has been doing it for at least the last 10 years. These are accolades that he doesn't ask for because he's the type of leader that just does the work. And the work speaks for itself. All he's asking us to do, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm included, I'm included, I'm not beating anybody. If anything, I'm beating myself. All he's asking us to do is follow his lead. That's it. Follow his lead as he leads by example. That's it. Follow his lead as he leads by example. That's it. Now, I know some, of, some people on the call say, well, I don't get out and da 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 Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Pick the postman. Pick the postman. Anybody that's knocking on your door, pick Amazon. Anybody. Do something. If you don't come out the house, man, send a smoke signal. Do something. Call somebody. You know somebody number. You know somebody number. All that talking you do to everybody in your family and you don't know nobody? You got a phone for a reason. I don't know that. I don't talk to that many people. I don't, I don't know that many people. Yes, you do. Look at your phone and your phone will go from A to Z. Call everybody in your phone. Back in the day when I first started, we used to say, call at least 100 people. When I first did that, I got to the C and I was over 100 on the C. That's how many people I had in my phone. Call them anyway. Because two things you want to lead by. Speed and exposure, speed and exposure. Call them anyway. At least they got your information. Text it to them, at least they got your information. You're gonna get a lot of people to call you back off default just cause you call them. They see your information. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing is getting tight around here and I'm gonna leave you guys with this. And I know some of you guys said, well, why you go so hard, Sam? Why you, why you getting 15, 20 leads a day? Well, a funny thing happened at my job, ladies and gentlemen, and I really don't tell my business a lot, real a private person, but you guys are family, been family for a while now. It's time for me to take the mask off. About six months ago, I got really ticked off at my job. And the reason why I got ticked off at my job, ladies and gentlemen, was because I saw something that corporate America did that made me sick to my stomach. And Mr. Thomas was telling us that things like this would happen for years. And it slapped me in my face and it, it woke me up so bad. That's why I'm looking like I'm a robot to Al Thomas because I feel like I've been going to the University of Al Thomas for the last six months. I mean, it's just been just incredible. I had a boss that had been at my job for 12 years, 12 years. She gave everything to the job, everything. She trained everybody. They didn't give her a raise for it. They gave her the title, but they never did back her with the money. They was doing an overhaul, and she didn't know it. She just thought everything was fine. She was smiling and running around like she was going to make it to that 20 years. They gave her a 10-year chain around her neck, her little emblem. It said 10 years. Oh, she was happy. She was walking around here like a fat rat on a piece of hog head cheese. I knew it was a problem. I knew it was going to be a problem. I felt it in my spirit, ladies and gentlemen. I knew it was going to be a problem. She was smiling just a little too bad. And, and, and when you smile too much at your job, 
They ready to clip you. Don't worry about it. They ready to clip you. Don't don't be too happy because they ain't they ain't too happy when you too happy. Watch this. She trained the lady that came in. The lady was during near half her age. The lady had no experience at all. She didn't come with any experience. She's just coming through the door. She trained that lady for like three months. They, they made that lady, her boss, put my boss, which was her, on furlough. She went on furlough less than a month. They fired her and combined, combined both jobs with the younger lady. Watch this. Gave her half of her salary and kept the other half. Proving once again, ladies and gentlemen, I don't care what job yet. Now, watch this. You got to understand how my job operates, ladies and gentlemen. In order to get my job, you have to have at least a master's degree. You can't even come in my job with a BS. My job has to require a master's degree because it's in psychology and you, you, you and you face to face with mental illness. So you have to have a master's. You can't even do my job with a BS. This girl went off and got a master's degree. The girl that they hired didn't even have a master's degree. They started looking at the money. They ended up downsizing her, didn't even give her the respect. Mr. Sam Foss is so, he's on fire. He is on fire. He done burnt up the, he done burnt up Zoom. So how on the whole, they didn't, they didn't make her the manager. They put a catchphrase in there, Mr. Thomas. They call it acting manager. Just in case you get too high up on the hall and you don't think we can clip you, we're going to do the catchphrase and make you the acting manager. That's how corporate America is playing with people now. And now they say, Work from home. Why? Because they don't want to pay for the building no more. They realize since this situation started, it's more economical to have you work from home and while you're on the computer, now they know they can get the real work out of you because you ain't walking around the building trying to hide no more. They can tell you keystrokes on the computer. And then they can see you through the, uh, the camera on the computer what you're doing. How do I know that? I went to use the bathroom one day and my boss called me and say, you stopped. I said I went to the bathroom. Can I go to the bathroom without clocking out? Come on, ladies and gentlemen. They can see that. I went to the restroom. And they called me and said, you stopped. I said, yeah, I got to get out of here. I got to stop all the yell. I got to get out of here. I'm going to make a prison break. I got to get out of here. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, without getting too hyped or too intensified, I want to say like they say in AAU, thanks for letting me share.